Welcome to the Bayou City Soccer Podcast. Whether inside or outside the loop, we are talking everything soccer in Houston. Y'all ready? Let's get it. Welcome to a special edition of the Bayou City Soccer Podcast. We are joined today by Ramona Bachman, the newest member of the Houston Dash. Ramona, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Welcome to Houston. Uh, how are things so far? You've just gotten here, but how are, how are you liking the city? Yeah, well, I haven't seen so much. Um, the only thing I, I uh, appreciate is that uh, the people are very friendly here <laughs> and um, it's quite warm. So I do like that. I heard it's going to get really hot. Um, so for now, it's not as warm for the, the local people here. Yeah, not too bad now, but we get to the summer, it gets a little a little hotter <laughs> so <laughs> you've you've played at some of the biggest clubs around the world and now you've come to the nwsl you've come to the dash what excited you about this this next step in your career coming to houston um well first of all i think um the league here uh in the u.s has been growing a lot there's a big hype about it there's a lot of great players that have been joining the league um, Houston showed great interest in me. Um, they also offered me a three-year contract, considering I'm 33. Um, there's a lot of clubs I think wouldn't do that, um, but I don't really know why. But uh, yeah, so this is something uh, I really appreciate it. And um, there's uh, Fran who's come in as a new coach. He um, he's from Spain. We had great talks. Uh, he wants to play a certain playing style that I think will fit me really, really well. You talked about it a little bit, but we've seen a lot of big players coming here to the NWSL recently from Europe, a lot of players um, from some of the big leagues. Um, what is the kind of talk about over there in Europe about the NWSL? You know, is, are, are players starting to see um, the level of play and they're wanting to come over here or what? how is it viewed over there? Yeah, well, there's definitely a lot of talk going on. Uh, people um, seeing it, they're feeling it, that there's there's a lot of progress going on, um, that it's very interesting um, and probably will grow even more in the future. Um, but yeah, the playing style is obviously a bit different. Uh, I think it's more physical here uh, than it is in Europe. Um, probably a bit more transitional. There's a bit more happening. Um so, yeah, it's definitely a league that is uh, interesting to watch for people. So now you're here in Houston. Uh, Ellen Rubinson, one of your former teammates, right? You guys played together in Sweden, what, 10 years ago? Are you looking forward to playing with her again? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I've been in contact with Ellen, uh, obviously, since we played together. And um, that's always nice if you reconnect with a former teammate. And um, we obviously know each other, so... Um, the connection is already there, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to to get on the pitch uh, with all of them. Yeah, you got to train today, your first time training. Uh, you got to meet all your teammates. Were you familiar with a lot of the uh, players here, um, and how was it meeting them all for the first time? Yeah, it was it was really nice. So they were all very welcoming to me. Even the staff uh, felt home right away. Um, it was great having the first training session finally because I've been waiting a while. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, I know some players that are playing here and, um, I think there's, there's, uh, a lot of talent here, uh, will take time, um, getting to play how the coach wants us to play, I guess, um, because it is a little bit different that probably most of the girls have been used to, but it's, it's a progress and it, it will, we will get there for sure. Um, I guess now for me, it's all about getting, getting the connections, um, with with everyone on the field yeah you said you talked to Fran a little bit we've seen you play a lot of different positions in your career you know on a wing midfield you've played some striker have you talked you and Fran have talked a lot you said uh, um how do you kind of see yourself fitting in with this team yeah no I think um I'm I'm fitting in well especially with how he wants to play um probably will have a similar role I can play anywhere offensive to be honest um, I love to play as a ten, and I think also that's that's somewhere that's where they will will probably play me too. Um, but again, I mean, I'm open to play anywhere offensive. Uh, can play all the positions. 
So you've come over now from PSG over here to the dash. The season's fairly new, but what are just some goals for you personally as a player and as a team as you, you know, get started here? Yeah, I think for me personally is uh, just, um, yeah, performing on my highest level as soon as possible, um, getting the connections with all the girls. And I mean, I'm sure we, we are all looking forward to we want to we want to go to the playoffs for sure and then hopefully um yeah playing for it for a trophy yeah you you've won trophies i think every step of your career you've won in sweden and germany england france you've played in world cups you know what are some of the big moments that you remember from your career yeah i mean um it's been it's been a, a great a great journey for me for sure i have um it's it's really hard to just pick uh, one moment, but I've had I've had uh, the privilege to win a trophy in every in every team I've played. So this is yeah, this is something I hope I can just bring my experience I had on this on this highest level for so long I can bring to the team. Um, I think I'm one of the oldest, if not the oldest, but um, yeah, I think experience will probably be something that can be very helpful for the team. Yeah, and all that experience, and you've traveled around the world. You speak very good English. It, how many languages do you speak? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, was not always like this. First time I was uh, <laughs> in the states, my English was terrible. Um, I speak about three and a half. I speak German. I mean Swiss, uh, and German. So this counts as one because it's quite similar. Then I speak English. Uh, I speak Swedish, and I speak a little bit of French. Not as good yet. My wife is not happy yet, but I'm going to get there. Yeah, she can teach you, right? <laughs> yeah, she's trying. <laughs> yes. So speaking of your wife, and we've seen um, some of your, uh, we look we look at you on social media and we see a lot about your dogs, right? Um, and looking at your Instagram, it looks like your dogs got to come to Houston with you, right? So is that exciting? <laughs> yes, yes. That was really important for us, for sure. To make sure they we can bring them, they they're a big part in our lives. We spend a lot of time with them when I'm not playing, so um yeah, it was important for us to get them here, and we're we're really happy um that everything worked out. I think you uh landed with a good team. There's a lot of seems to be dog lovers on the with your new teammates. Oh yeah, I heard uh, almost everyone has a dog, but also in general, people love dogs because uh, wherever we go with the dogs, we get stopped and people talk to us and uh, I want to cuddle the dogs. So this is a bit different to to yeah. other countries I've been I've been in. Yeah, there's a lot of good dog parks and places to hang out with dogs around Houston. So yeah. before we let you go, what are you know you're here now in Houston? There's a lot of you've been in some big cities but being in a big city like houston what are some things you're looking forward to you said you haven't got to see a lot yet but what are you looking forward to about houston i want to explore for sure i heard a lot of good things about houston i want to explore the city uh, i heard the food is amazing so this is something i'm looking forward i'm a food lover so i'm gonna try lots of different restaurants and yeah i'm trying i'm trying to uh, go see a lot of other sports teams because I love sports and um, I want to support uh, Houston uh, wherever I can. Yes, we uh, American football, you get to see that. Baseball, probably not a lot of that in Europe, right? Not a lot of baseball in American football, no. Basketball, though, yeah. It's basketball, yes, we have, but um, I want to see uh, all these games. I love basketball, I love American football, so I'm definitely going to gonna watch those games. Awesome. So before we let you go, Ramona, just anything that you want to say to the Dash fans as you uh, get ready to make your debut, get ready to get in with the team, just a message for them? Yeah, um, well, I'm really, really excited to be here. I'm very excited to make my debut, especially the home debut is going to be special in front of all the fans. So I'm looking forward to play here, to play in front of the fans and hopefully um, manage to have a good team performance and get a win. Ramona, we really appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. Best of luck this season to you and your new teammates. Thank you. Have a good time. Uh -huh.